that's the safest way to do it. It is. Or especially if you're on like a big major highway or interstate, definitely pull over. Yeah. Because that's just not safe at all. Definitely. And you know, especially yeah. considering, you know, on highways and interstates, you're typically going a lot faster than, you know, on normal roads. On back roads, it's usually like 55 miles per hour. On interstates, it's 70 miles per hour, at least here. So, wow. That's fast. If you're going to answer your if you're going to talk on your phone, talk on the back roads, not on the interstates. Yeah, but we don't condone that either. If you're going to answer your phone, pull the hell over. Seriously? Yes. It'll save a life. Mm, okay. Mm. These, um, d- 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> eh, dead air. Well, it was your turn. I know. Okay, man gets all the way to jail parking lot before new arrest. That's got to <clears> be a, oh shucks, moment. October 4th. A southwest Florida man, oh, we're in Florida again, found himself in jail twice within a couple of hours after the authorities say he tried to break into cars in the parking lot of the jail he'd just been released from. Stampede? What the hell is that there for? Okay, come on, what's not to like? What? Oh, it's an ad. <laughs> Don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty. <laughs> Wait, no, look. Okay, hang on. Stampede! Come on, what's not to like? Hoof it over to Facebook to join the weird news herd. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Anyway. <laughs> What's even better is you read it before you realize what it was. <laughs> <laughs> It's Florida. You never know what the hell's happening. <laughs> I thought maybe the story had just taken a whole different turn. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, continue. <laughs> yeah, if I can. Okay. <laughs> Donald Gardner, 48, was arrested around 6.30 p.m. Sunday by Pasco County Sheriff's deputies for causing a drunken disturbance in Lander Lakes. Wow, okay, Lando Lakes Radio, according to the St. Petersburg Times. Hey! What? Not only is it Florida again, but we got St. Petersburg again. Wow, they must breed them weird up there. Okay, authorities said they responded to complaints of a man urinating in a yard and spotted Gartner crawling out from under his neighbor's bushes with his shorts on backwards and low on his hips. Yeah, because we all know that low on the hips is illegal now in some states. Um, Gartner told deputies he was looking for cans of paint in the bushes, as you do, then charged his story... Oh, then changed his story and said he was trying to replace a porch light. In the bushes? Alrighty. <laughs> a sheriff's report said Gartner was extremely intoxicated, do you think, and had mm. admitted to drinking six beers and taking six oxidone pills. Okay. That's probably oxycodone. not a... Oxycodone. There you go. Probably not a good mix, but anyway, deputies took Gartner into custody and he was released from the Land Lakes jail about 10 p.m., but his freedom was short-lived. Authorities said Gartner went to jail, or went to the jail's parking lot to wait for a ride but started trying to get into cars in the lot. He was arrested again around 11.45. God, what's that? An hour and three quarters. Come on, coppers. <laughs> Gartner told a deputy he hoped the cop was not mad at him for attempting to get into the cars, the arrest report said. He was being held Tuesday on a $2,000 bond. It was unknown whether his, he has an attorney, and that story is by Brian Hamp, Hamaker, NBC Miami. Yeah. Okay, so it took the police, or the correctional officers, whatever you want to call them, an hour and three quarters to figure out that he was trying to jimmy locks in the parking lot. And then he hoped that they weren't angry at him. Don't be mad at me. I'm just a stupid Floridian. 
<laughs> I'm from Florida. I can't help it. We love you, Florida. Mm. Alright, so how much time do we have now? About two minutes. Alrighty, I'll read fast. <clears throat> Taj Mahal on verge of collapse. The Taj Mahal could collapse within five years because the wooden foundations it is built on have dried out and are rotting. The Daily Mail reports conservations are urging the Indian government to prevent a growing environmental catastrophe. It is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the world and is located, located in Agra, India. The Taj Mahal is a world heritage site built by Emperor Shah Jahan. In memory of his third wife, oh crap, <laughs> Mumtaz Mahal, built between 1632 and 1653. Did I say that right? 1632 and 1653? Yeah. Yep. Okay. It is the finest example of <sighs> Mughal ar architecture. It combi <laughs> combines elements from Persian, Islamic, and Indian architectural style. Impressive in size, yet delicately beautiful, the Taj Mahal is renowned as a symbol of eternal love. However, cracks appeared last year in parts of the tomb, and its four minarets are showing signs of tilting. Around four million people visit it, visit each year, making India's most popular tourist attraction. And you know, you, you're not even allowed to wear shoes in that place. You actually have to put, like, little booties over your shoes. I did not know that. Yeah. Like, they really, really want to take care of it, so I'm quite amazed that the wood has been let to rot this far. I mean, it's really, really old, so, I mean, every... It, wood really doesn't hold on that long. I mean, it's amazing that it's held on this long, really. Exactly. So, on that note, um, yeah, that's our week. And hopefully next week we'll have Marianne. Sorry we're being a bit of a, you know, what tease about all this, but yes, Marianne's still not feeling completely 100%, and she's actually hopping on a plane to Melbourne, because she's going to be attending She Killed Her, which is the 10th anniversary, I think it is, of the Australian ranch of Sisters in Crime, which is a big thing about crime writers. So, yes. Wow. Very, very interesting. I thought you totally just confessed that she'd commi like, committed murder on air. I was like, wow, that's pretty ballsy, Belinda. No, no, no. She killed it is a convention. Mm, okay. Well, it, in uh, that case, stampede! <laughs> 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 uh, yes, okay. We're going to see you all next week. Hopefully you'll be in the chat room. And don't forget to catch us on YouTube if you want to hear us again. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Bye. And this has been the Friday Catch-Up, powered by the Paraquest Radio Network. Remember to catch the hostess with no ghostess every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Paraquest Radio Network.